Hello and welcome. I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. And I hope your whatever your time zone is going to get better. But right now, I just woke up and I opened up Twitter and the flame stake that the site is right now is palpable. I'll uh, read it top from bottom right now. At uh, the trending tab that is. At the very top is a specific group that I can't name. But it is about a specific group known for doing very bad things between 1920 and 1945. And uh, then the next thing is far right. And there's a bunch more that I don't think correlate. Though, when we get towards the bottom, we have more that I think do correlate. That being left wing and the French. Now, as someone who keeps the Holy Day Sabbath and really doesn't pay attention to the trending page on Sunday, why would I think that those terms are connected? Well, as I have found out, the French had an election. But how does that connect to the terms of far right and left wing? Well, you have, as I see it, you have a bunch of the left wing calling the right as far right. And that is, as I assume from the post, why you also see uh, that group. Which I will, for now on, call uh, the Square Mustache Group. I, uh, <laughs> I hope that's detailing enough for you to know who I am talking about. But, the left wing is calling the right wing, or as I believe that, because uh, this is how I see it, the left is calling everyone who disagrees with them far right and a part of the Square Mustache Group. And something that has happened within the French election is something of a small revolution that has happened. Because I see riots happening, burning stuff, and then just a bunch of crazy stuff. Uh, here, take a look. And I would assume that these people who are rioting are the supposed square mustache group peoples. But from what I'm seeing on X, it is actually the left wing that is doing all the crazy stuff in France. Which is confusing to say the least because they actually won the second round in the election. The uh, same round that they are currently rioting in. In, in my opinion, the left is doing nothing but proving why their political side should be stopped. The left is, or at least this is what I see, just calling everyone who disagrees politically as being a part of the square mustache group. The left wing people are doing nothing but just creating more divide in their country by becoming more and more extreme. I would honestly say that if the left doesn't stop becoming more extreme as time goes on, I would not be confused to see France collapse as a country. And I'm not saying that the right has to win, even though that would be preferred, but what I am saying is that if the left doesn't stop being as extreme as they are, their entire country is going to collapse. And, and I mean, just look at what is happening. Protests in that country are just becoming more and more extreme as uh, more extreme just on a whole. You first had the group Just Stop Oil defacing things like history and things of beauty in that country, and now you've got the left doing public burnings. Like, what is next? And I mean that genuinely, because I'm interested to see how crazy these ill people will go. They say they're against the square mustache group, but then they do little different from them. The SM group burned books in public, and the left is doing public burnings as well. They're attacking those that disagree and forcing their way through being anything but close to civil. The left is clearly showing that they are deranged and are clearly willing to destroy a country as long as they are the ones doing that. Do you really see these left-wing people as being reasonable or even approachable while being from an opposing political side? 
I, I don't. They scare me. And I would honestly, they, they honestly make me fear for my life if I were to be over there. And as I've said before, everything is two sides of the same coin. Whatever you oppose, you are probably the same thing just on the opposite. And likewise, these people oppose the square mustache group, yet I find them to be just as terrifying as the square mustache group. And so, I, I think, to bring this to a close, because I, I talk about North American politics here, I would, I would just say that if you don't want our great continent, that being Canada and America, to not collapse like France currently is, then the simple solution to that is vote conservative. And if you're not convinced by such an easy decision, then tell me, what comes next with the left wing's agenda of craziness? Because I, for one, don't want to find out. And so to me, the simple answer is to vote conservative. And this message goes for both Canada and America. If we truly want the two countries to be great again, and not collapse like the spineless country that France is, then we just need to vote conservative. Oh, uh, hey, before you go, look, I already called it, and now people are saying RIP France. This is legit real-time stuff happening here. As I'm making this, the RIP France statement is currently trending. <laughs> like, you can't make this up, but, uh, Anywho, uh, vote conservative, and if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join a conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.